Welcome back to Gold Derby. I'm Christopher Rosen. I'm so pleased to be joined by Elizabeth Marvel, who plays Celeste on the Peacock series, Mrs. Davis, and also is a co-star on the HBO Max series, Love and Death. Uh, uh, Elizabeth, thank you so much for doing this. I, I want to start with Mrs. Davis. I, I kind of wanted to start with, like, how is this show? <laughs> it's such a it, it's such a strange show and concept. And I guess, how is it uh, even, how are you, how do they approach you and, like, pitch it to you to, like, explain it, I guess? Totally. So I remember uh, I was on a Zoom with Damon and Tara and they were pitching it. And I was like, so basically it's like Monty Python meets ordinary people. And they were like, yeah, yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's so it's so unique. It's so fantastic. The thing that's wonderful and easier for me is because my character, Celeste, is such a creature um, that she's sort of like a, a shark that just swims through all water, you know? So it doesn't really matter what genre the territory is that we're moving through. She just is sort of consistently who she is. Right. So made my job a little easier. <laughs> a, a little easier, but I mean, I think you, one of the things I love about Celeste, I feel like the character is such a, I guess, embodiment of what I find one of the great themes of the show, which is like, I mean, whether it's through media, like in, like any, any things like the show is talking about, like social media, media, religion, all these things where it's like telling people what they want to hear versus telling them the truth and how that ends up being like, is that an empathetic thing? And, and all those, that complication I find like really fascinating and especially with Celeste and I guess like how did you kind of process like interpret how how did that like the themes of the show interpret how you played her I guess if if, if, if at all <laughs> everything you see it's so fantastic what you're talking about and so radically timely I mean that's the thing that blows my mind so much and not that Damon is is a newcomer to being timely or dealing with hot button issues because he he sort of has that kind of foresight but um, the fact that this show is talking about what is tr what is true, what is fantasy, what is the the difference between tech and spirituality, and you know all of these questions that we're all wrestling with and so lost with um, is is so profound for me. You know, it's it's that great Jimmy Cagney line, you know, that he said about. What is acting? You just hit your mark and tell the truth. Like that's that's Celeste in a nutshell. She just tells the truth. She does not. It, there is no filter, and there's there's no consideration for feelings. There are no real feelings involved when it comes to truth. Truth is truth, mm -hmm. and uh, and I I love I loved that and love that about her. Yeah, I, I think that's fascinating. And I just love, I love that about the show. I just think it's like, so it's so like, it it like you leaves you, I just, I loved watching, like I'm, I'm as someone, I watched the whole thing. I know like the finale is next week and stuff so, like for people, but I like loved watching it because I just was like, oh my God, there's so many good like questions and it made me really think. And I was thinking about it for so long. I mean, I imagine like, is that like as silly as it does? Like, is that, did you guys talk about that as an acting troupe? And like, did you guys talk about the themes oh. and stuff in that way and like kind of debate it? Cause I find that, really fascinating like you said like it is that so many great things and not to ramble but the other thing I love especially the way like Damon and Tara wrote it and like kind of concepted it is like there's no like it's not demonizing anyone either which I loved I just love the nuance yeah. of it all like I just found that really like meaty and like great <laughs> I I could not agree more uh and and I think above all it's really funny mm -hmm. which is and and constantly moving which is really surprising. Like I was, I, even though I say like Celeste is this thing and she tells the truth, she's also very complicated and is very emotional uh, and has like a very large emotional ocean roiling inside of her. And this relationship that she has with her daughter and her husband, it's all very complicated and heavy. And, uh, and that's just one slice of this huge, multi-layered cake mm -hmm. um 
Yes, I think it's, I've never been on a show where when new scripts came out, you know, I've been on shows before where you're waiting for the new script and you can't wait to see where it turns and who dies and who lives and, you know, what's coming. I've been on a lot of wonderful shows like that, but never one that sort of triggers these deep, profound conversations about what you're talking about, about meaning and life and what we're doing and what our responsibility is to each other and these machines and what they're going to do to us. And as AI is beginning to hit humanity, where we're giving a, a sort of a place for a forum to talk about it, to think about it. And because it's it's going to be life-changing for all of us. And so I've never been on a show that's ahead of the wave. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting because yeah. uh, it's so in the conversation now. Yeah, it's it's, re it's really remarkable. I, I'm loving it so much. You mentioned like obviously uh, Celeste's relationship with with Simone, her daughter, and it's like and you know I think Betty Gilman is obviously incredible on the show, and she's so good. And the oh, thing I love, she's so good. I mean, just like incredible. And I've always loved her so much. And I guess the thing I love about your scenes with her is like she's always so. I feel like she plays a lot of characters that are like obviously very much in command and like kind of like owning the situation and the, because of the tenor of their your relation your character's relationship with with her you're you're kind of like pushing her off like you know what i mean like it's kind of like get putting her in a spot that i've not really seen her in right and i guess like huh? how I, I found that really great and i think your scenes are great because you're really in command <laughs> like was, celeste is so in command there i feel like and i just was like i guess how is that like you know it's basically like how is it to work with her but i mean i found that really interesting because i think your performance brings out a, a different facet of her performance that i had not really seen previously which i really liked so i just thought the whole uh, thing worked really well that's that's beautiful to hear i love hearing that and that's so interesting because you know being inside of it you can't objectively see something like that so that's amazing feedback to get um but it makes sense because while we were talking and working i mean she and i immediately had a simpatico right away like i i hit it off with her right away and uh we immediately started having fun because we're very similar. Like it's it's a wonderful thing when you're a mom to work with other moms because you go to work knowing that you go to work to rest. <laughs> it's where you actually sit down and people bring you drinks and they're nice to you <laughs> and they don't really ask you to do anything other than your job. So uh, so when you do go to work, you know you're on time. You know your lines. You're ready to work and you want to get the job done. And she's very much like that and I and I love that and she comes in with ideas and I come in with ideas and and we just uh we also both have you know our own relationships with our own mothers and mother and daughter relationships are are intense territory in the in the best circumstances they're very intense that bond and so we did a lot of unpacking of these two people because at at the thing that was most important above all, and we've talked with Tara about this a lot, was that it's all from a wellspring of love, mm -hmm. all of it, constantly. Even even as tough and brutal and, and hard-edged and mean it may seem, it's ultimately sourced from, from love. Yeah, I, I think that's great. I do, and I think that's what makes it, yeah, like I said, like none of the characters are like, I just think the show is really candles this stuff so, so incredibly well. And it's like really profound. And I think this, yeah, like I love those scenes with you and Betty are just remarkable. Did you, I was looking back at you, like you said, you've been on a, a, a like many great shows in your, in your life here. So like, I, I saw you did episodes, a few episodes maybe of, of Nurse Jackie, and I know Betty was on it. Did you ever cross paths with her on that at all or no? Do you remember that? I mean... With who? With with Betty, because well, uh, she was also oh, no. under Jackie. No, okay. I was just like, I wonder. I was like, I'd wondered if you guys had actually connected previously or at all, or in, in like, I know even in New York theater or whatever like that. But that's funny. No, and... I, we had never crossed paths. Oddly, although we know so many right. people, and yeah. we're in this orbit. Yeah, but exactly. 
that, but she felt like an old friend when I met her. Yeah, and it comes across, I think, on the screen. Your, your relationship and the performances are really great. I mentioned like Love and Death, you're in that as well. That, that one, in, in that show, you were playing a real character, right? As a, a, yeah. like, And obviously the show is fact-based. How does that, when you're playing like uh, past, the Pastor Jackie, how did that like... I guess, like, how does that change how you're, do you, does that change how you're kind of like attacking the role when you know it's based on a real person or, or you know, like anything like that? You know, in that circumstance, it didn't. I I, I made my own creation of her. Uh, I, I worked with David, David E. Kelly on her and talked to him. And, uh, you know, I just, I trusted him to have done his research, which of course he did and, and took what he needed from, the actual person and put it into the script. And then I, I built something on that. But the thing that was so beautiful about that experience, I'm, I'm such a huge David E. Kelly fan. I just think the world of him and, and I'm doing his new show right now. So I, I, I'm so grateful to be in his, his troop <laughs> these days, but something that he did that I thought was so beautiful and unusual is that he took a crime story, but he ultimately made a story about a community. And I feel like that's something that's so needed now because I feel like we are real, our communities are fracturing so much and there's, there's no forum to really talk about it and look at it. And I feel like this is a really interesting examination of a community and playing the sort of spiritual leader of that community as the pastor uh, was was a beautiful experience for me. It was really amazing because, you know, what we do doing film and television and theater, it's a team sport. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all about everybody. Nobody is just, you know, solo. It's, it's a team. And so I really got to work with that wonderful company of actors on Love and Death and we spent a lot of time together in Austin, hanging out and sort of building that community. And I feel like that it comes across in that project. And it's it's a it's a different lens on on that story that I think uh, makes it very meaningful. Yeah, definitely. I think that's part. Of, I I agree. I think that's like one of the reasons the show really works, right? It's like it is kind of like taking a story that maybe people know or what, and then like kind of like expanding it out from there, which is is really kind of key yeah because i think it's really easy to take you know a, a salacious mm -hmm. murder make a salacious story but to really dig into like the people that that affects and how it has a ripple effect on a whole world is is important yeah do I, I would I'm like before obviously just talking about Betty you also have Elizabeth Olsen on, on, on Love and Death who's equally incredibly great, another great it's just the an embarrassment of riches uh in for, for us this year <laughs> Siegfried it's ridiculous it really is uh I guess like, I, well, yeah I color purple with Danielle Brooks mm -hmm. I mean these women <laughs> amazing women I am very lucky yeah. Well, I mean, like, what stood out, I guess, about Lizzie uh, for on um, Love and Death that you would like were like, I guess, impressed by or like kind of like liked about like working with her? You know, she too. She's she's a lot like Betty. They're both mm -hmm. uh, and and like Amanda. It's it's a it's a group of women that are just smart and ta like absurdly talented um, and on time and hardworking and serious and fun. They're like a bunch of Barbara Stanwicks, you know, it's hard back to an actress that existed in the 40s that just has this self-possession and ability, um, but is also really fun and lovely. Yeah, it's great. I mean, as a viewer, it feels like we're in a really lucky time because all these performances are so good. And like you said, like Amanda Seyfried too, and, and uh, Dropout, just incredible Incredible, incredible stuff like it's just like non-stop and you get to you have a front row seat to all, all of these which is really yeah really great you may presume Dennis and I is the other show right with David E. Kelly that you're doing right you mentioned yep. I guess like I'm excited for that because I'm familiar with like the novel and the original film and I guess like how has that been I don't know how, what you could say about it or not and uh, but whatever like how has that been so far uh you know working on that it's been great uh I'm on it with my husband so that's yes. been for for us, uh, where we play a married couple on the show, so it's been great for us. A little hard on our teenage 
son because it's in LA. So we've both been living on planes, but, uh, but no, it's, it's, I think it's going to be really good. How is it acting with Bill uh, together and, and, and playing Mary Couple? Then it's good. It, I'm happy to report. We, we really enjoy it. We have a great time. We love it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. No, I think that's really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. Really. Yeah, I'm excited for that too. Uh, Elizabeth Marvel, we can. I feel like we can talk about you. Have, like you said, you've done so many things. I'm, I'm such a huge fan. I think people are really uh, and are always like, love seeing you in things. And 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 Mrs. Davis and Love and Death are two uh, really amazing uh, shows and great performances from you. So thank you so much for doing this and taking the time. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.